The big clashes later on. Yes, absolutely. Starting well, with this one. Yeah, indeed. Kelsey Simons Ready? Ready? is our referee. Ready? The teams who came over to Mauritius over the course of the week. Well, it looks like the first act of the day is going to be to give a free kick away. Yeah. And Toulon have just handed possession to the Brumbies' early doors. They tap quickly. Michael Dowsett just getting things going in terms of possession for the Brumbies. And they come out to the left, they're looking to try and go around the back and create some space, and then the gas comes on. Lausi Talion Ali. Yep. Or is it Aiden Tua? Great dummy run there behind the behind the bat. Showing good speed. Certainly taking the opportunity. And Aiden Tua, the first man over the whitewash for the 2016 World Club Tens. Last way to get the game going. Absolutely, and it is the nature of, of tens that there's a little bit more room for the gas men to be able to express themselves, exactly. a little like sevens, but as we'll see no doubt over the course of the morning and the next two days, there is also the opportunity for the forwards to get stuck into a few little bits of set-piece play. Yes. So Toulon nil, the Aquis Brumbies five. Of course, the Brumbies... They were involved in the first event at Singapore's National Hub Stadium in 2014. They got to the final with the Auckland Blues, who were playing under Piri Wipu. It was the Blues who eventually ran out winners against the Brumbies, nail-biting old final. So having fallen at the final hurdle, it's no surprise to see that the Brumbies are one of the teams who are back looking to go one better this time around. Africa Pacific Dragons there, another one of the strong-looking sides. Oh, that's it. Well, it was a good, effective turnover, but it was just lost by Nigel Arnold. He was in a good position to get that one. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of the youngsters now. Uh, uh, the big, the big forwards will start yep. getting involved in the game, and later on in the game when it start, when they start getting more tired. But um, you're going to see a lot of turnovers. You're going to see a lot of uh, um, spreading the ball wide, and that's so. Um, yeah, it's going to be a full day of running. To, uh, continue. Good to see the sun shining down. The nature of the climate here in Mauritius, you can have a little rainstorm that sweeps through in about five minutes and then it's gone again. So we could have a little bit of greasy ball out there as the course of the day goes on, but we do have white puffy clouds and blue sky above us for now. Kelsey Simons, our South African referee. About a four hour flight from South Africa to get over here to Mauritius. Relatively local. Yes, and uh, a lot better than flying from New Zealand Set. or <laughs> yeah. Australia. Steady. Well, indeed. Boys from Canberra. Ball is in for too long. Hurried away in the back. It's not the tidiest. They've got work to do in their own 22. Tackles come in. I'll want one of them. Doug will the other. Away from Dufault. It's loose again. Toulon have got to look after the ball, particularly in their own 22. It's great, pr great pressure on the on the back line and, and, and putting pressure on that pass. And so, uh, obviously, um, hitting the man on ball and, uh, and, pr and and turning the ball over. So, great position for the Brumbies. Yeah, they should score if they can just get the ball out cleanly. Yeah. So it's not as uncontested Six. as you'll tend to see in the game of sevens. Six. In tens. Oh. Ball is in from Dowsett under plenty of pressure from Dufour. And Toulon look to capitalise by hacking it downfield. Where's the ball going? It's well taken in by Arwong, but Very loose pass. Yeah, gone loose again. And it could be an opportunity for Taiba Jacala. And Toulon level up on the score sheet. It's a little untidy. But they'll take it. Yep, great try as well. Nice little handoff in the end there. But uh, very scrappy play from the Brumbies. You know, it all started from the scrum in the 22. They they just had to get that ball back, and uh, um, 
just little mistakes along the way. There's the fend on 24-year-old James Dargaville. And enjoy watching that one again. The teammates are happy. We're all square. Drop goal conversions as per seven. Yep. That one nearly finished behind him. Yes. A lot of these guys are not uh, used to taking drop kicks. And, uh, like in sevens, everything's, everything's dropped. After a try, you have to drop kick it over. So it just speeds up the game. He'll be hoping for some better efforts than that as the day goes on. <laughs> well, I don't think it can get much worse. <laughs> so a long, deeper restart from Toulon that time. Oh, a little bit of miscommunication from the Brumbies. It's eventually, oh. Dargaville who takes it in, away from Jared Butler through Dowsett. Nice linking up with the big guys there. Yeah. Good support play. And then Josh Man Ray. Come side. Tap and go. Not sure the referee was convinced that was from the mark. He is going to call them back. Josh Man Ray played 11 Super Rugby games this season. He was involved in the World Club Tens two years ago. Grabbed a pair of Wallaby caps back in 2014 as well. The hooker. And he was right on the shoulder there to do some of the upfront grunt. Robbie Coleman handy counter attacker for the Brumbies he's a co-captain alongside Jared Butler two of them in charge of the effort Man right. little dummy jump at the front but then it's away douse it Coleman oh it's not too neat from him but they're trying to make it work they didn't let Aiton Tua get away that time. They saw what happened earlier on in the game when he did, scoring the Brumbies' first try. But Toulon have turnover ball. They're going a little bit more lateral here than forwards. It's almost a little loose there from Rudy Gaeto, and it has been one on the Brumbies' side. Pick and deliver from Les Macon. Then it's over the shoulder of Butler. Coleman plays scrum half. to just set this one up in the middle very scrappy passing and, and handling it's as if they've got that sevens mentality and they're looking for where the space is going to be but yes they've got to work it a little harder and find it but this is, could be a real breakaway for Thibaut Defoe just scragged much like the World Club tends two years ago you do watch these sides work the game out as they play it it's not a form of the game that they get an awful lot of practice at and then there's turnover ball advantage being played it's over now big man looking to get going down the left Jordan Smiler is he gonna canter all the way the chase is on for too long that's a decent run fundamental errors costing the Toulon there big number eight getting out and stretching away this is Stephen Sutter eh? Brumby's eight wins four losses in super rugby so far yeah no just the bar the ball It's always the worst, is trying to trying to pull down those big guys, and especially when they are fast and running down the side of the wing. It's uh, never an easy task for a smaller guy. But uh, you don't you don't miss doing that, then? No, certainly not. <laughs> uh, I haven't played in, in, in the last three years, so certainly don't miss the the, 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 the physicality of the game. But uh, there's a fair amount of hair there to grab onto. <laughs> if you can if you can get it, get get your hands around yeah. it. <laughs> Too long five, the Brumbies ten. No one yet adding the extras. Two tries to one to the Australian side. Robbie Coleman in his fourth Super Rugby season. 25 years of age. Oh, now then, was the man allowed back to his feet there? The referee's going to play advantage, but that might have been effectively playing the man in the air but they are going to go back well just as there was a turnover of possession Time's off. 
but they are going to go back. Let's just have another little look at that. Okay, 15. Okay, yeah. 15. 15? Yeah, took his legs out before he okay, landed. And, uh, Nothing more, just watch it, please. I'm sure he yeah. felt that one. Time's on. So, the hooter goes. Just a little ahead of our on screen yeah. clock. Knock on. It has gone forward. Just basic errors, block. just passing and uh, keeping the ball uh, alive in contact. So that's, that's costing the. Uh, so, half time in our first game in the 2016 World Club Tens in Pool A. It's Toulon 5, the Brumbies 10. Carry strong, recycle possession closest till we play. Okay, but don't hold off. Okay, we're into it now. Okay, we've got to be a little bit more proactive and taking the game to them. Okay, we're good. Right, same side on, but we just, we just came off. toujours face à leur costaud, voilà. Les mecs qui, qui, qui ont moins de vitesse chez nous, qui se déplacent le moins, vous visez leurs joueurs. On est intelligent. Eh hey, les gars, c'est bon la première mi-temps, première expérience. C'est pas, on est, on est au niveau. On est au niveau. Non, maintenant on va remarquer. Allez, 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 allez. So, some impassioned words from Olivier Baudon. French speakers among you may have picked up on what he was saying, asking his players to be intelligent. Ready? Right. Brumbies to get things started, leading by two tries to one. Start. Real passion at the half time team talk from Toulon. Nobody's come over here for a jolly, they're here to win, Brent. Yeah, no, so they brought, some, some teams have brought their, their, their top uh, Super 15 players and uh, or Super Series players, and uh, so certainly some, some teams are taking it very serious. I know the, the Dragons and the Invitational side, are, um, they've, they've certainly selected some big names, so uh, we don't come here for a, an, a little run around, you're coming up to win, eh? Certainly speaking to some of the players over the last couple of days, they're saying it's a real opportunity to just keep the skills up, not allow things to, to drift too far. Some of the players Crouch. still got contributions to make during the season for their Whoa. side, certainly the Southern, Southern Hemisphere sides and some of the young men there. Obviously the likes of Saracens who we'll be seeing shortly will... Just keep it steady, please. They are in the off-season, but it works as effective pre-season to keep the skills ticking over. Yeah, obviously for the Southern Hemisphere teams, they, they're mid-season at the moment, so just keeping that fitness up, keeping the skills there, the, just sharpening the sharpening the, the sword, you know, just for when, for when the season does start kick off again in three weeks' time, so. Sit! Hold, hold, hold on, hold. Balls with the Brumbies. It's away from Brent Hamlin. It's rolling subs in this game. Oh, into it! Simple show and go. Defence not too interested in tackling. And where Olivier Baudon was asking for intelligence second half. Well, they bought everything he had to sell there. Yeah, great little switchback and, and obviously uh, a little weakness in defence there. Um, but uh, that's what it's about. You know, it's about finding those, those little gaps and, and exploring it. And obviously you get your fast guys running through it. Um, for me, the Brumbies are just holding onto the ball and, and just doing the basics a little bit better. So. So the 
Brumby's getting through Hayden Tiller with his second try of the day Third side. Guys, off there. Ten points between the sides. Then two there. tries to one. Oh, sorry, three Good tries try. to one for the Brumbies. Team that scores restarts. Can't too long. Win possession back. No, the Brumbies managed to. And Hamlin comes surging forward. Hamlin, who started the game on the bench and then pops up again, proving to be a bit of a live wire as he makes an impact. Let's make it. Another one who played two years ago, but the penalty is given away. Diving off his feet, ceiling, so called. Anthony Merrick getting going, the Toulon number 10, then off to okay, release, George release. Stokes. Hold. Oh, and looking to just try and slide through. Uh, another, another. Came off the Brumbies there, I think, but well, the referee oh. saying that it did just get nudged forward by a red hand. So the Brumbies will have the scrum. Okay. Just not quite putting it together at the moment too long. Just seems just a little fundamental errors. Yeah, a little hurried, yeah. doesn't it? Hands yeah. on your play. I'm happy with this. On your play. We'll find they'll probably settle down as the as the day goes on, but. Uh, Always in the beginning, you're trying these 50-50 uh, these passes that just sometimes don't come off. I think they're still trying to play Sonny Bill Williams uh, passing Check. there. Yeah, certainly are. Crouch! Referee not too happy that that Pick one's out, settling, settling down. Okay, I'll pull it out if you want. He's fine for now. Doesn't want the push coming too soon. Do you want to Next game after this one will be the Italian All Stars against Western Force, then the Sharks against the Africa Pacific Dragons. And we round off this morning session with Uskadi, the Bayonne players, against Saracens. Brumby's looking for try number four, looking to get going through Dargaville. Is he going to go all the way himself? Oh, it's an impressive run, but then it's a decent last ditch tackle. Oh, Jacqueline was patient and waited. Great diving tackle. Jacqueline nailed his man. Your winger. Just knocked forward by Tali Ali. Backed himself and uh, just ran out a bit of speed the last five meters. Dan McKellar watches on. Talked about this being a nice reward for the players after a hard slog of the season. Wants them to enjoy it. Certainly of the philosophy that enjoyment comes with victory. I think the, oh, sorry, I think the Brumbies have actually brought out their, their, their top players for this and uh, certainly haven't, uh, haven't gone looking for uh, the reserves to come through, so they, they're very serious about winning this one. Yes, they certainly are. Good work from Jacqueline back into Merrick. Away from Aneta. Putting it through the hands. Need to straighten. Oh, that's a nice dummy, but the man was taken out off the ball, so it'll be a penalty. Sorry, sorry. Playing the players out the ball. Thibaut Dufault, the man he who was hit, taps and goes. Not in. That's a good run, and there's an advantage being played by the knock turn. And Dufault, a real live wire, now puts the chip through, and Toulon chase on. It's a foot race, the ball is in a perfect position. Can oh, anybody oh, score it? Nobody's going to score it. Oh. No try. Came off the, yeah. the field there. I got no grounding. Hope he's oh, alright. Okay. I don't know if Ray touched it, kicked into in goal. Wait, the ball out. Out. Okay. <laughs> Three big guys running off of the ball. Bit of a tumble. Just yeah. off the end of the field. It's 22. Nigel R. Wong. Just hope that's nothing too serious. Time is off. 
Had a spell in Japan, Nigel R. Wong, with the Coca Cola Red Great. 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 Okay, kicked out by Gray. Five years scrubs. So Chilon will yeah. continue to have an opportunity in the 22. Referee saying that it came off the Brumbies. Five metres attacking scrum. Still time for Toulon to get back into this. Two and a half minutes remaining. In sevens, two and a half minutes, you can easily score four tries. Mr. Simons wait for the call. wants to make sure the players wait for his call to engage. Scrum will complete. Balls away for too long. Little show. Oh, and is, is it going to be a little scamper through for Anthony Merrick? It is. Great try. Very nicely done by the 20 year old scrum half. Nipping through. And decent reward coming eventually from the break a couple of minutes ago. We saw the ball kicked out. That, that, all, that all happened through the, the dummy runners creating doubt in the defender's mind. You'll see the guys coming on the crossback and then that little gap there and obviously yeah. with the speed that'll be off the mark. Yeah, just uh, wait. Managed to wait. snipe through. Okay, you spoke in what's wrong? Backing himself against his opposite number. No, it's fine, he's a dummy runner. There's an Slide opportunity through. to tackle. Yes. That little conversion that that uh, that the Brumbies missed could be quite costly if uh, Toulon come back here and score. Restart. Is it gonna go ten? Doesn't look like it. Free kick Brumbies. Get going straight for the seconds left. Oh, now you then. Leave your hand. You can't tap it on your foot. Referee right on the spot. Scrub. To penalise Robbie Coleman for not taking a free kick quickly. You need to know your laws. Olivier Boudon not impressed. He'll take it though. Very grateful for the scrum. Jeffrey Kaza Kazanav. 15 seconds left. Sit. Scrum half waits to get this one on. This is a one chance wonder for too long to get on the score sheet and level the game. If they could get it in kicking range. There goes the hooter. Got to be sure of the hands, which haven't necessarily been faultless. Oh, there's a big hit from Smiler. Stand up well to it. Lucas Vaccaro, not held, able to take another metre. Thomas Verne, then further out to the right. Can they do anything through Lalam? They have created a bit more room through Katana. Oh, and then they give possession away. Michael Wells in the perfect position. And that'll be the end of the game. Well, it's an opening win for the Brumbies. Oh no, a little bit uh, scrappy uh, first game up, and uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, Toulon will, uh, will need to focus on that part of the game.